hello students welcome to my online tutorials i know it's long i have not posted any video on the poem or prose but it was very hot and humid and i sweat a lot so yesterday was a very nice weather even today is very nice so i thought let me upload another video of mine and in today's video we are going to discuss about a poem the name of the poem is the tale of custard the dragon oh yummy custard isn't it so the name the moment i mention custard you all must be thinking about the sweet dish the custard you can ask your mummy you can ask your mother you can ask her you can not ask her in fact you can request her she'll make custard for you okay so as for now let's discuss this poem the tale of custard the dragon a nice very nice poem the language is very easy students so to start with the poem let's discuss about the poet and the poet the name of the poet is frederick arden nash students he was born in 1902 and he left for his heavenly abode in 1971 he was an american poet and very famous for his light verse now what do you mean by light verse light verse is very simple uh, verses or stanzas the language is very simple we'll come to know when we'll be doing the poem we'll come to know and the use of the words are very simple then we have rhymic words very simple words are used children that is it doesn't need much of explanation okay so he was known as producer of humorous poetry as i mentioned it was poet it is a hilarious poem a humorous poem he received sara josepha hale award in 1964 okay so let me introduce you to the lesson so in this poem what happens is like uh, children for you all what i have done is i prepared what i am telling i prepared a writer for the same which i'll be giving you to you in the link box and you can open up the link and you can read through and i have detail i have done all my uh, detail study and i have uh, tried my level best to give you the information to the best available and definitely some like information has been taken from net also and which is together with my own knowledge and explanation i have prepared this lesson for you so ordin nash you know has written this poem about a little girl and the name of the girl is belinda who owns many pets like many of you must be having dogs cats parrots so this girl belinda a young girl she is having many pets and what are the name what are the pets she is having she is having a black kitten the name of the black kitten is ink a gray mouse the name of the gray gray mouse is blink a yellow dog since it's yellow in color the name of this dog is mustard and a dragon and the name of the dragon is custard and it is called as coward okay and this is how the poem describes or tells uh, tells us about all these pet animals and their relationship with the uh, this owner okay belinda and in this poem you know what happens is that everyone tries to boast about this ink blink mustard like i'm talking about the cat the mice uh, sorry the mouse or the rat and this um, dog they keep on boasting about their bravery about how close they are be to the belinda and then uh, there is uh, there is a time you know uh, there is a thief which comes into the room of belinda and all these animals like apart from the dragon disappears and then dragon comes into action and saves belinda so this is the poem all about so this is the poet has described every character to be very brave except the dragon who is very coward okay and wants always to be he always wants to be rest uh, take rest in his own uh, like chamber or cabin or cage doesn't want to mix up much so and the whole situation changes when a pirate enters into the room of belinda okay so summary i'll tell you later on i'll i'll put up the summary of the poem in the link box in the link and then let's start with the poem students so stanza 1 okay i'll read out the stanza and then we can explain okay belinda lived in a little white house with a little black kitten and a little gray mouse and a little yellow dog and a little red wagon and a really truly little pet dragon wagon 
a vehicle this is the wagon which is used over here students is a vehicle which is used for transporting goods here and there okay so very simple very simple you see the rhymic schemes the rhymic words are house mouse wagon and then dragon okay so belinda used to live in a white house and uh, the pets mentioned over here are black kitten and that's the reason the name is ink gray mouse and that's the reason the uh, name is blank pet name and mustard is the name for the yellow color dog okay and a little red in a little red wagon wagon is a vehicle okay then over here next so you can see rhymic devices which is rhymic scheme is nothing but a a b b that is house mouse wagon dragon so little word is being repeated so repetition is there then uh, oxymoron is used over here we can see oxymoron now what is oxymoron over here students oxymoron is a literary device where we use two words uh, which are contradictory in each other uh, mean meaning to each other for example the word over here you see you can see in that line this is a uh, line number we have uh, uh, this third line one two three four fourth line you see and a relio trulio little pet dragon so pet and dragon dragon can never be pet so in these two words like pet and dragon since they are contradictory to each other we use the literary device or we call these such types of words as oxymoron okay and then uh, we have anaphora that is repeated use of the word at the start of two consecutive line that is and a little and and a this word and a little and and a relio truly okay i'll be giving all these things i'll be telling you all then we have uh, refrain that is nothing but repetition of the sentence again and again okay then uh, we have poetic license you can so that is a word called relio and truly is used okay so this is what there is a, a real relio is a word from real okay truly is a word from true so such types of uh, changing changing in the change in the spelling is referred to as poetic license okay but just to create musical effect students now we come down to stanza 2 in this stanza the poet is describing or belinda is just telling about her pets now the name of the little black kitten was ink and the little gray mouse she called him blink and the little yellow dog was sharp as mustard and the dragon was a coward and she called him custard so you see the kitten she had as a pet was black in color she was, it was called ink the mouse was gray so blink okay the dog was yellowish in color so she called custard sorry uh, mustard okay and it was also told that it is told in the poem that the dog was very sharp and what about the dragon the dog dragon is referred to as a coward so coward and dragon again say they are not matching okay so that is what is uh, told about her four pets namely ink that is kitten blink that is gray mouse mustard that is yellow dog and students custard that is dragon okay then we have the next stanza that is students we have again the same literary devices a we literary that is your rhymic scheme is a a b e b b that is ink blink mustard custard and then we have simile because the dog is being compared to mustard and then that is your as sharp the word is as mustard you see the dog yellow dog was sharp as mustard you can check in the line then we have anaphora we have repetition little word is being used i'll give you the detail not to worry about then come down to stanza 3 custard the dragon who had big sharp teeth and spikes on top of him and scales underneath mouth like a fireplace chimney for a nose and again this word is repeated students relio trulio daggers on his toes so now this stanza 3 is specifically de uh, describing the dragon so how is the dragon the name of the dragon is custard it is having big teeth it has scales on the top of its body as well as underneath so teeth and underneath these are the two rhyming words again the scheme is aa and then where is a fireplace fireplace in the mouth and where is a chimney the chimney is in the nose the chimney for a nose and again the last line is the relio trulio daggers daggers are nothing but the claws students the claws which is there the pointed nails the nails uh, pointed nails on the toes of the dragon so 
same students we have the rhymic scheme we have the rhymic words very simple very simple we have and then simile is there that is your dragon's mouth is compared with fireplace then we have metaphor metaphor you can please underline this chimney for a nose the nose is like a chimney okay stanza 4 belinda was as brave as a barrel full of bears okay belinda we are talking about the girl she is compared as a the word as a students as a barrel full of bears so she was as brave as bears then ink and blink chased lions down the stairs the kitten and the mouse they were so brave that they could chase the lion down the stairs so you see the words bears and chairs sorry stairs again they are rhymic words then next lines we have mustard was as brave as a tiger in the rage again we have a simile over here mustard the dog it was as brave as a tiger in a rage in a rage means very angry ferocious tiger but custard custard cried for the neshe safe sorry, sorry not neshe but custard cried for a nice safe cage so custard is not compared with anything what does it want it just want to go into its cage and be safe there then we have the next stanza again literary devices student dynamic scheme is a a b b and uh, the words are bell stairs cage rage and cage then alliteration is used very strongly in this stanza belinda was as brave as a barrel okay full of bears so bb sound is repeated so we have a simile also we have uh, what do we say that uh, i think somebody is ringing me up okay anyhow i'll attend to the calls later on after my lesson similes are there students metaphors are there so you can go through them wherever the word as and like is used the simile and your metaphor children are just the comparative devices they are the uh, devices used for comparison now you must remember wherever we use as and like okay so that uh, device is called as simile and when the comparison is made without the use of the word as and like we call it as uh, metaphor for example let's like suppose uh, we have this uh, in this stanza like we can say there's so many so many similes i can see like mustard was as brave as a tiger so this is nothing but simile okay then uh, but you see in this previous one and ink and blink chased lions down the stairs so here also ink and blink is being compared with the lions but here it is a metaphor okay so let's go to stanza 5 and uh, stanza 5 is also very simple students very very simple one so let me see what does stanza 5 say belinda tickled him she tickled him mars unmerciful ink blink and mustard they rudely called him percival they all sat laughing in a little red wagon and relio truly a cowardly dragon in this uh, stanza belinda makes fun of custard dragon calls him coward she tickles him unmercifully then ink blink mustard they all call him percival that is a coward okay and they used to all uh, like laugh at him they all used to sit and laugh at him and again the word is repeated really truly that is the poet says that he was really truly a coward dragon okay